What's going on guys, I'm back for another video and today we're talking about one of the biggest hacks when it comes to building your print on demand empire. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to go from manually uploading products to new platforms to actually automating this entire process with POD Connect. So as always, links to everything down below in the description. If you guys are still hungry for more, check out my blog, skipwithben.com and subscribe to the channel as well. But with that being said, let's go ahead and we're gonna hop right in. All right, guys, we're gonna get right into this. So this is POD Connect. It's one of several platforms out there now that help you automate this whole upload process. And this is really important. It's gonna save you a ton of time. I've been personally going through this and using this for the last five, six months or so because I've started to expand my print-on-demand business from Merch by Amazon to a couple of the other platforms out there. So specifically what this does it is a application that you run on your desktop, your laptop, whatever it may be. And essentially we tell it what we wanna do, what we wanna upload, where we wanna upload, and then it actually automates this process. So I'm gonna show you guys in this video how to do this step-by-step, -step, kind of all the pieces that go into the back end. And we're specifically gonna look at using this with Printful. So to automate the upload process to Printful, and then obviously from Printful, we can upload to a bunch of different platforms. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use that and then go to Etsy. So specifically, we're going to take this design, which I have talked about in plenty of my videos, the turtle, uh, too many turtles design. And we're actually going to upload this to this Etsy store I have right here, which is kind of my sample Etsy store. Um, and obviously we're only gonna be doing one design for this, but in theory, you could do this with hundreds or thousands of designs. Now you're probably not gonna wanna do them all at once because that might raise some flags with Printful or with Etsy. So I normally will batch these out a little bit. But before we get into that guys, I just wanna mention, uh, this is a paid service, so it's 19.99. Uh, if you guys use the link down below in the description and my code, skip with Ben, you're gonna get a little bit of a discount. And they do have a three-day trial as well. So if you guys wanna take a look at this, give it a try, uh, check that out. Uh, now they have a bunch of different platforms here. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of those in a second and they're always adding new platforms. So we'll get into that in just one second. Um, so essentially how this works is we download, we set up our account, we download the POD Connect client, uh, which I have here open so you guys can kind of get a feel for the interface. And the first thing we need to do is build a CSV file to actually tell POD Connect exactly what we're gonna be uploading and where to upload it and a few other small settings. By the way, before I continue a little bit further here, if you guys want me to talk about any of the other platforms, today I'm only going over Printful to Etsy, uh, let me know down below in the comments and I can make separate videos on those. So we need to create a CSV file. Now, if you guys have watched any of my other videos, I recently did another video about how I use uh, a master kind of organization file. So I just build a master organization file in Excel. And in this, and I'll, I'll link to it somewhere here on the screen in case you guys wanna take a look, but I keep everything, all my designs organized in this one file. So this one file I already have written out, and this is my example one, but I do have another one that has several thousand designs. It's gonna tell me exactly where the design is on my computer, the title, brand name, bullets, description, tags, the hex code of the color I think the design looks best on. And then I also normally try to put, you know, the status of where my design is already published so that I can easily kind of jet through this process and say, okay, this design is not yet on Redbubble. All right, I need to go publish this on Redbubble uh, or Zazzle or TeePublic, whatever it may be. So again, if you guys are interested in that, check out the other video I have up there. But from this, this is just gonna make this whole process easier, which is why I recommend you have some kind of organization structure uh, for your print on demand business. So we need to take this and essentially create a CSV file that is gonna be readable by POD Connect. Uh, so if we go back to POD Connect, you can see that right here we can import a CSV or a CSV with headers. So I've already taken the time and actually done this. It's gonna look very basic. And again, guys, remember, remember today I'm only showing you one design, but in theory, we could add 20, 30, 40, 50 or more and do all of these at once. And that's really the power of POD Connect is it's gonna save us a ton of time. Uh, so in this, I've added a column for the design path. So where the design is located, which if you guys will notice, it's here on my desktop. Uh, the title, the description, the tags, and then the price point. And I'll show you guys kind of how all of this works in just a second. Uh, one important thing, make sure that you save this as a CSV, uh, comma separated values file. If it's an Excel file, it won't work. So you have to actually save this as a CSV file. So once we have that created, we're gonna go back over to POD Connect and we wanna click CSV with headers. Uh, then we're gonna find that CSV file. So I have that right here. And you guys will notice it's pulling in that data uh, that we've given it. So we have the design path, the title, description, tags, and the price. 
Uh, the next thing we want to do is actually kind of set up the settings for the platform that we're going to be publishing to. So I mentioned to you guys at the beginning of this video that I was going to show you the different platforms. So as of now, as of recording this, uh, POD Connect can integrate with Printful, Teespring, Redbubble, Spreadshirt, uh, Printify, Zazzle, Guten, and TeePublic. And the nice thing about this is, number one, they're always adding more platforms, but number two is that beyond these, if you, for example, use the Printful integration, you can upload your products to Printful, but then Printful has a ton of other integrations. So obviously Shopify, Amazon Seller Central, Etsy. Um, so there's a lot that we can do with this service. Uh, just by using the options that they have right now. So again, guys, for this video, we're using Printful. And so what we wanna do is uh, fill in this information. So I'm actually gonna clear this out and we'll go ahead and fill this back in from the beginning. So first thing we need to do is grab the store URL. So I'm gonna hop over to my Etsy store, uh, sorry, my Printful account. And right up here at the top, I need to grab all the data up through the number that displays our Etsy store. Uh, I am going to obviously black this out um, for the sake of this video, my the privacy of my store, and then paste that right in here. Once we do that, we just need to choose what products we actually want to publish. Today, we're going to use stickers as an example, just because this is a very easy one. And then we just need to check a few items here. So I want to do, uh, obviously, the only color option here. Uh, then the sizes, I'm going to do all the sizes. But here's kind of where the magic of having this CSV file uh, comes into play. So rather than having to enter anything, uh, we can actually choose for the image file, it's gonna be based on the design path. Uh, for the mock-up style, we do need to manually enter these, but in theory, if you guys know what product you wanna publish, maybe you're always publishing the same product, so t-shirts or stickers, uh, we can essentially put this stuff in our CSV file if we wanted to. Uh, for the sake of this video, I haven't done that. All right, so we just need to get the mock-up names to tell POD Connect to actually how to do this and what we want to display. So I'm actually going to essentially upload and kind of go through this process in here uh, just to kind of get the names of the mockups. Now this is something we need to set up once and then we don't really need to do this uh, again. So it is manual at the beginning, but after that we don't really need to go through this. So we have to tell POD Connect what mockup style we're going to use. So the mockup style is the first thing. You can see here it's default mockups. So that's going to be the first thing I enter here, which I've already done so. Next, we need to get the main mock-up category. So I'm gonna hop back over here to Printful, and that's gonna be this right here. So we need to click default, because you, you guys will notice that for some of these other ones, it would be lifestyle one or lifestyle two, so we need to make that determination and essentially tell uh, the POD Connect software what to use. So uh, we need to enter default. So I, you guys can see here, I've already typed in default. And finally, we need main mockup image. So we're gonna hop back over to um, to Etsy or Printful one more time, and we're gonna grab the name. So we can see right here, this mockup that we want, I like, I like to choose the largest variation is 5.5 by 5.5. So I'm gonna type that in and we have that here. Now again, guys, in theory, we could also put this stuff in our CSV file. So next time we could just choose the column associated with each of these mockups. And then we just need to choose for title. We're gonna use the title column or the title header. We're gonna use description for description, tags for tags, and then price for price. So here on the uploader page, we're gonna choose what platforms we wanna to upload to. So in theory, again, we could do all of the platforms at once. Uh, in that case, it's just gonna go through and knock out one platform at a time. Uh, but for this video, we're gonna use Printful only. If I wanted to, I could also go ahead and hit check TM, and it's actually gonna check trademarks for me directly in this application. So I can check if there's any live trademarks I need to be concerned with. Uh, now in this case, I'm not concerned with any of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and X that out. But this is just a really nice feature so we don't have to bounce back and forth between TM hunt or anything else. We can just stay right here locally. Once that's done, all we need to do is hit start uploading. So I'm gonna hit this, I'm gonna give it a second, and you guys are gonna see what's gonna happen. It's gonna open up a window and actually run through the same process we would normally be doing manually. Uh, I'm gonna blur a few things out here just to uh, protect some of my other designs while this is going. All right, guys, so just like that, you can see that now our design has actually been uploaded and completed. 
Now, if there is another design or another 10, it's gonna run through that process and just go through each, each of these designs and then tell you when all of them are actually done. So the next step and the last thing that we actually have to do is come back over to our Printful store, or sorry, our Etsy store, and we just need to go ahead and manually publish these. So after, what you can do is wait for all of your designs to actually be finished and then go over and bulk publish them over on Etsy. So that is kind of our last manual step here. We actually need to run over to our store, go to listings, and then in draft, we now have our new sticker here. So I'm gonna click on this and you guys can see that it's given me the mock-up that I chose, the 5.5 by 5.5. And we just need to fill out you know, a couple other settings. The one thing I wanna point out is that uh, POD Connect will not be able to handle, at least with the Printful integration, different prices for the different uh, product SKUs, at least not as of now, not as of recording this. Other platforms for Redbubble, for Spreadshirt, it handles this just fine, but for whatever reason, the Printful connection, it's not able to identify that. So that is the one manual step here. So we would have to go through and manually adjust these. And obviously if we wanna change anything else uh, while we're on this page, that's all we actually need to do with this entire process. And then go ahead and publish our design and just like that, that is it. It is gonna be completed and published over to our Etsy store. So my final tip here, guys, is when it comes to Etsy listings is spend time after this is actually published. Because remember, you've saved a ton of time on the automated uploading side and take time to polish up your listing. And so that's where, and I'll link to it somewhere on the screen. I have another video, but use something like place it to get high quality images or maybe go and add a few more mockups uh, to your listing using Place It or one of the other mock-up generators out there. Maybe even consider adding a custom video. There might be some small tweaks that you wanna do, but the great thing is that POD Connect is gonna save us a ton of time in terms of the heavy lifting with actually uploading. We can go and repeat this you know, every single day when we add new products to Merch by Amazon, we can then take those and publish them to multiple other platforms with POD Connect. So easily turn one design into many different designs. So that is POD Connect in a nutshell. So there you have it guys, that's POD Connect. It's gonna save you a ton of time and headache when it comes to automating the upload process or expanding to new platforms with your print on demand business. We only covered one of the platforms that it actually works with in this video. So if there is anything else you wanna see, if you wanna see walkthroughs on the other platforms, leave a comment down below and let me know and I'll try my best to get some videos out to help you guys out with your print on demand business and using POD Connect. And finally, if you wanna give it a try, sign up using the link down below in the description and make sure you guys use my coupon code for a little bit of a discount off POD Connect. But until next time, subscribe to the channel for more on print on demand, building side hustles and everything else. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.